Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Barr with Bar Creative, and in 10 minutes or less, I'm going to show you one possible workflow from Machine or Machine A into Logic Pro 10. As usual, guys, in the description, there'll be some time codes that you can click on, and it'll take you right to the point you want to learn about. My whole goal is to get you what you need to know in 10 minutes or less and as easy as possible. So if I'm doing that, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Please leave comments. Let me know how I can make this better. This channel is for you. So please let me know what's up. And uh, yeah, until next time, Bar Creative, Machine to Logic, enjoy. Yo, people, what is up? This is Jay Bar with Bar Creative. And in 10 minutes or less, I'm gonna show you one possible machine or machine a workflow from machine into logic so um, I have this project that I've been working on and it's starting to get too big for machines britches in other words my computer is not able to process all of the tracks running at the same time and I've kinda got my ideas out and so at this point I want to start to like kind of arrange this into some type of a, an actual song so I'm at the point where I've kind of done I'm done like messing with it sort of and I want to get something real out of it. Um, now that's one of the drawbacks about Machina that I'm not crazy about is the fact that it's not really a daub. It, it works great at what it is. I mean it's basically an electronic instrument and for that it's amazing. But um, for recording not so easy. Uh, I use Ableton just a little bit. I use Logic a lot more and there's real, really no clean workflow out of Machine into Logic. So here's one possible workflow that you can try. Okay, so I have my stuff. I've got it to a point where I want to, you know, kind of start working on it. And this is what it sounds like. And you're going to hear my CPU is just dying. So, so it's not even playing. And part of the reason is because you can see I'm recording this screen right now. And so I'm using a lot of the resources just to get you guys this video. But maybe you have noticed this on your own computer where it's just starting to just get crushed up and it's not processing. So that would be another reason that you would use this technique. So here we go. Um, what you're going to want to do first is on your desktop, you're going to want to set up a folder for, um, I just called it, so here it is, it's machine audio, okay? And what I'm going to do is for every, uh, for every, you could even call it the project name, so maybe in this case afternoon sunshine, but don't ask, it's actually I just started making it in the afternoon and the sunshine looked amazing, it was like the golden hour. But anyway, uh, near the here, neither here nor there. So what you're gonna do is, for every scene that you have, you make a folder. So this one's called train wreck, because that's what it was. It was a train wreck until I cleaned it up a little bit. And I'm gonna drag in that, and I don't like this one. That one I need to work on, you can see. Um, and then this one, maybe we'll do this too. So I don't know what that's called. We'll just call it scene two. Um, so scene, whoops scene two. So for every scene that I want to drag over, I'm going to make a folder and then what I'm going to do is click back over here and I'm going to click on the patterns. And once I do click on the patterns, I'll put this full screen so you can see it. Once I click on the actual pattern, it'll show me what I have programmed, but it also gives me these two options here. Now, um, some of you may have tried to drag in the patterns. It's not a face, that's a pattern. Um, and you could drag that into Logic, but every time you do that, you're going to start a new instance of Machine A. So if you made a track for like the bass, and then you made another track for the drums, by the way, dragging drums in with this option is a whole nother wreck. It's a whole nother disaster waiting to happen. Um, I won't get into it in this video, but just try it on a new track, something that <laughs> you don't need to uh, preserve, and, and you'll see that it creates a whole lot of unnecessary tracks and that's with specifically with drums that you may have started building out in a group anyway I don't want to get lost on that the one that we're going to be concerned with is this audio exporting function okay so I'm going to move this over so that we can see our folder and what I'm going to do for every one of these sections I'm gonna for every pattern that I have I'm gonna drag this and drop it into the train wreck folder and you'll see why in a minute so I have all this program stuff. And you do kind of want to get it to a point in Machine A where it's almost ready to go and you only have to make maybe a few minor adjustments, meaning you've kind of balanced the volumes, you've kind of balanced the sound a little as much as possible. And you're at the point where you want to just start like mixing this down. Um, and that's what this step is really useful for. And then on this other one, we could do the same thing, but I'm only going to drag in uh, 
just a couple so that we can get to it and like how to actually do it. So same thing, and this time you would just drag it into the other scene because it's from the other scene. There we go. All right, so now I have the two that I want to work with, okay? So the way I view machine, it's like a way to get my ideas out super quickly. Um, but for me, it's not an all stop thing. In other words, I can't go start to finish in machine. So if you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comments. Because I would, I mean, I really like creating in there, but I really get frustrated at the step where I actually want to do something with the song aside from performance. So, uh, so here we go. Going back over to Logic now, I'm going to start a new project. And... We can go audio, we put the input off so you guys don't have to hear my voice kind of echoing. Now here's the one really important step. Since we're exporting audio, we need to make sure that the tempos match because if I add any MIDI tracks or if I want to click in Logic, the click's not going to match with what I'm dragging in. So I tapped out this tempo, it's 98.91, so 98.91, I need the tempos to match. And once they do, I can start dragging these things in. So there's two ways to do it. One, you could just drag it direct, you know. Um, or if you want to work just in Logic, you can go, whoops, you can go up to the view and show browsers. And that'll bring up this kind of thing. I'm going to go over to all files and my desktop is where it was. It was in machine audio and there it is. So you just need to know where you put it. I know I put it on my desktop. I know I put them the scenes in a master folder called machine audio and now I have each scene so what I can do is I can start building this out now I just drag them in one by one and I'll I'll do this process and fast forward it on the edit so here we go okay so that's my first uh, scene and these were four bar loops so I'm just gonna trim these up again I'll fast forward it for the edit and now once they're trimmed this cycles these are loops so oops and by the way, the volume, I haven't done any of my own mastering or EQing on any of this. Um, I just thought, hey, this is something I kind of thought of this weekend. I don't know if anybody else is doing it this way, but here it is. So if it's helpful to you, awesome. That's the whole point. If it's not, tell me what I'm doing wrong um, so that I can fix it and make it better. So here we go. We have this loop running. And again, none of this is balanced. Okay. Okay. So that's a little better. You can hear it. it's not it's not you know EQ'd, mastered, whatever you want to call it. It is very raw, right out of the machine. I was uh, just making this over the weekend, literally. Like this is the last project I'm kind of checking out. Now that's the first half. So now what I could do is I can organize these by scene. So I could have this going, and then I can go back to that machine master, excuse me, master folder, and I can go in the scene two because these are the ones I didn't drag in yet, and then I can start building out that next part. And so I just do the same thing. I just drag these in. And the beauty of this is that once you have them in here, now you can start, you know, mixing down, doing all that you want with EQs and effects and all that. The one negative, uh, well, one of the negative things about this is that if you want to make changes, changes, you'd have to click back over into machine, make the change and re uh, export the audio, which isn't that huge of a deal, but you would just have to do this process over. All right, so you get the idea. So this is one possible machine workflow from machine into logic. And uh, it's kind of a pain to get into the logic. So, you know, machine 3.0 or native instruments people, dude, you guys need to make this easier. Um, or either that or I need to learn some other ways. So guys, leave comments. Let me know what you think. I hope this was helpful to you. Again, this is Jay Barr with Bar Creative. So, um, all right, later, guys.